I was looking for an opportunity in my schedule to do a new project, and this was that opportunity. Okay. So, because he did a perfect circle and you know his yeah. history, he's yeah. been very busy. And you know the other two guys in our band, Eddie and Appy and Norm Block, they're very busy mus musicians too. And that was sort of my ideal band to have these guys. And I had to wait for that opening, which I got in fall of last year. <laughs> We kind of played around, played around you know, yeah. uh, Southern California, and then we got the opportunity to come over to England with Eagles of Death Metal, and then mm -hmm. my friends in Snow Patrol, I gave them a record, and they, they liked it, so we did like a month of touring with them in Europe, and that was a lot of fun, it was really great, and so here we are again out with the Eagles mm -hmm. of Death Metal, and it's, it's nice to have friends in, in mm -hmm. bigger bands that'll, that'll you know, allow you to support them on the road. It really made me appreciate just being a, a, a player, you know, because when I would press record and play mm -hmm. it's so much easier yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know I, I still I think that there's more for me to learn as, as a producer <laughs> I'll never do it like that again I didn't go out and buy you know like the best gear you know I just used whatever I had and uh, made it work within those limitations and it was difficult you know I think one of the reasons the, the record sounds a little um, trashy is because you know when you don't have the best of gear you, you kind of have to you know push it to its edge and that's that's where distortion becomes like a coloring it uh, becomes your friend. yeah brush okay. I guess For me, it's about this first record, me being involved, and and launching it to get to get it where it needs to go, and then it can evolve from there. I sort of used the sort of the, the template that the Eagles of Death Metal kind of made, uh, where you know it really was you know, Jesse and Josh playing drums, and then you know three records later, Josh is just involved with making the records and playing drums and you know writing and recording uh, but he you know he doesn't he steps have to be in on, and out he doesn't have to know? be on the road all the time um, and it's turned into a you know it has a life of its own mm -hmm. 